Oh my God. I think this is where I always stop. Eight and a half miles is enough. And down any of his last few rides. Oh, you've been giving her rides? Oh, Chloe! I told her she had to do this for herself because I could barely do it. <sighs> yeah. I mean, I was just going so slowly. I was concerned that you were just going to get so far ahead of me you wouldn't be able to... God, Rhonda is so athletic. Look at, look at her back. More so than Lu uh, I called you Lucy. I know. Uh, I don't know why. I mean, Susie's had as much. Well, has Susie had as much exercise? Yeah. I mean, she's built the back. Her back legs are just like. She's got like my thighs, and she's working them. Un unlike me. But she's scared of that little Rugradia. <laughs> Is that your first snow? No, we have snow at Titus Lake. We've had snow all over. Do you like snow? Out here, there was a ton of snow. <laughs> How do you feel? It's horrible. Dizzy. I keep thinking about hot dogs. I was thinking about hot dogs actually, but I'm not. He, I'll eat them. So we left at like 8.30, the house. Yeah. What? Is it? Yeah. yeah, I was ready to go. I was actually waiting for you. Like, like you couldn't have peed sooner? What? You couldn't have peed in that... She get a ride? She's fast. God, those rocks are so pretty. I didn't even look up there once to notice them. So we're we're close to the top, I believe. And then it opens up into a field. Is Pioneer Cabin somewhere? Should we do that one next? There's no water. What do you think? That's the destination we're to going in July or August. I can't believe no one. We're gonna run run into people on the way down for sure. God. What do you see, Susie? Those are your sisters. There's a bear. There's a bear cub. I hope her mommy's not around. You know, I was thinking about Chloe and what uh, Murph said about her, how it was inconsiderate to hike her. And I'm like, Dude, you're 71 years old. You know, is it inconsiderate for you, on you for you to be doing what you're doing? I mean, in the scheme of life, you're 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 at the end, comparatively speaking. You're just as close as she was. Is well, and the thing is, Chloe is so communicative. She tells us what she's doing. 
The one thing that would be tough if something happened to her, God forbid, at this, I mean. Well, what happens? I mean, let's talk seriously. If, it, if one of her things burst, did, and then we bring her in and they put her down? I mean, is that the point? We should we should find that out because otherwise I would just suffocate her out here. If she's in pain, 